Now we'll talk about comparing fractions. That means taking two fractions and determining which one is bigger and which one is smaller. In some cases, comparing fractions is very, very easy, like in this case. Over here we have three out of eight pieces. So this diagram on the left represents three eighths. And over here we have five out of eight pieces. So this represents five eighths. And five eighths is clearly larger greater than three-eighths. So you can write that there. Five-eighths is clearly greater than three-eighths because five of these things is clearly more than three of those same thing. Five-eighths is greater than three-eighths. It's not so easy though when the fractions aren't like fractions. In this case we have four out of nine, so that's four-ninths. And in this case we have three out of seven, so that's three-sevenths. And it's not immediately clear which of those is bigger than the other. The reason these were easy to compare is because they were like fractions. They were both eighths. Five-eighths was bigger than three-eighths. Those fractions both have the same denominator. Now coming back to here, if we want to compare four-ninths and three-sevenths, what we need is to write these as fractions with a common denominator. And what I'll do, I'll rewrite both fractions as equivalent fractions, but they'll have a, a different denominator. They'll both be written with a denominator of 63. So to start off, I'll rewrite 4 ninths with a denominator of 63. So 4 over 9 is going to equal something over 63. And what do I put in there? Well, I ask myself, to get a, a 9 to a 63 I have to multiply by 7. So going from 9 to 63 I multiply by 7. If I multiply the denominator by 7 I have to multiply the numerator by 7 also. So 4 times 7 is 28. So I write 28. 4 ninths is equal to 28 sixty thirds. And as long as I take the numerator and the denominator and multiply them both by the same number, then I get a fraction which is equivalent to my original fraction. Four ninths is in fact equal to 28 sixty thirds. Now I want to do the same thing with the three sevenths. I want to write three sevenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 63. So how do I get from seven here to 63. What do I have to do to a 7 to make it a 63? Well I have to multiply by 9. So that 7 times 9 gives me a 63. And if I multiply the denominator by 9 I also have to multiply the numerator by 9. So 3 times 9 gives me 27. So I'll write 27. And 3 sevenths is in fact equal to 27 60 thirds. So I've just multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same number, in this case 9, and I get an equivalent fraction. Now it's pretty easy to see that 28 60 thirds is greater than 27 60 thirds. I can write that. 28 over 63 is obviously greater than 27 63 over 63. So 28 over 63, that's equal to 4 ninths. So that right there is equal to 4 ninths. And 27 over 63 is equal to 3 sevenths. So this fraction is 3 sevenths. So we can, we can then conclude that 4 ninths is greater than 3 sevenths. And we found that by writing both fractions with the same denominator. Now the question comes up, how did I know to use a 63 for the denominator? Well, the common denominator has to be a multiple of both denominators. The number I find for a common denominator there had to be a multiple of 9 and a multiple of 7. And any common multiple would work, but it's generally easier to use the least common multiple. And in this case 63 is the least common multiple.